what's the heart of this community? And if we think of our youngest citizens as being our future, as I move in as a parent, I would want to know that a community has a strong emphasis on the well-being of young children and their families. Ada is currently one of only 13 Oklahoma communities participating in the nationwide Success by Six initiative. In a nutshell, Success by Six is a community-based movement that works to ensure all children ages zero to six get what they need in terms of appropriate development. Anything that gives our, our, our kids the, the tools and the skills that they need to succeed in life is important. And what Success by Six does is it gets into the communities and it offers families and child caregivers the, the tools and resources that they need on brain development and uh, curriculum and other tools that the kids will need to grow and to learn. Every child in the Ada area in Pontotoc County will enter school ready to succeed. Families will be able to nurture, teach, and provide. Kids will be born healthy and remain healthy. Um, Families can find affordable, quality childcare when they need it, and kids enter school ready to succeed. And those four goals are universal across all 13 communities. Success by Six is based on long-term research on brain development, quality childcare, and early intervention. According to medical and scientific research, the experiences of young children in the first six years have a lasting impact on later success in school and life. I was a school teacher for 10 years and I taught history and government at the high school level. I didn't teach early childhood or I didn't teach in the elementary school, but in the high school level, juniors and seniors. And I would see a lot of times that the students would not come to me with the skills that they needed or that I needed for them to have to be successful in class. And we would go back to the middle school teachers and say, well, we need the kids to come to us with these skills. And they would say the same thing. Well, they're not coming to us with the skills that we need. And we keep moving it back and we discover that the first graders were saying the same thing, the first grade teachers, that the students were not coming to them ready to learn in school. And I got interested in brain development and early childhood education and decided that uh, at that point that it was so important for them to have a loving, nurturing environment so they're prepared to learn and ready for school when they enter it in six, when they're six years old. We, with the Success by Six initiative, believe that every adult needs to have the opportunity to make the early learning years count. And it doesn't matter if you're a parent or not, because you are going to be in a position to make decisions in some shape or form. It might be um, when you vote, are you going to be more informed about voting for things that are for young children and their families? When you're an employer, will you be more inclined to be sensitive to the needs of young children and their families? Being designated a success by six community has certain advantages. Well, it means several things. Um, for one, you are identified, which means that you have access to um, a technical assistance network, you have access to applying for grant assistance, you all of a sudden are um, exposed to a lot more resources and information, training, workshops. It gives positive exposure to the community. It just opens up a whole arena of good possibilities for communities. From the onset, the Ada Area Success by Six initiative aimed to identify and utilize existing agencies, organizations, and resources to establish a comprehensive, coordinated system of early childhood care and education throughout Pontotoc County. These components have been available in local communities, but many people simply aren't aware of them or how to take advantage of them. There's four main participating partners, but the spirit of Success by Six is to bring in every facet of a community to work together. Success by Six and Ada is um, kind of a coordinating effort between all the different agencies and programs that we have, you know, Head Start, the Health Department, DHS, several other groups that provide services to our, our young kids. And Success by Six has come in as a coordinating agent to help with that and to make sure that um, all the different programs dovetail together and that we're not each agency is reinventing the wheel so they can use their resources um, optimally. And so um, Ada has just been incredible 
incredible in, in that respect and has really kind of set the standard for the rest of the state. So I'm really proud of Ada. The Success by Six initiative is gaining steam across the country, not only for its focus on early childhood development, but also because of its long-term benefits. Studies have shown that um, when the child has appropriate education, and especially when it starts in early childhood, then um, your crime rate goes down, your welfare rolls go down, and so a lot of the social evils that we have in all the states that we have to deal with can be addressed by education and especially access to early childhood education. One study in one state even indicated that for every dollar invested in early childhood education, it saves the taxpayers another seven dollars in welfare, incarceration rates, and other social costs that we have in our state. So the long-term effect can be very profound. If we want to grow and prosper as a state and bring in these new companies, we have to have an educated workforce. And these companies know that. And the number one thing that they look at before they come into a state is what the educational system is like. And if we can provide them with a top quality educational workforce and top quality education for their kids, for their people that they're gonna locate in our state, it gives us a tremendous boost and leg up to help grow our economy. One of the core challenges behind Success by Six is to help parents understand the importance of early childhood education and to provide them with the opportunities to educate their children in positive environments such as quality child care facilities, Head Start programs, or at-home visits. Success by Six and early childhood development and education in no way, shape, or form replaces the parent as the primary caregiver. And that is first and foremost, the child belongs in the home. Ideally, the best situation is to have the child at home with at least one parent that is nurturing and knows brain development, but the reality is in our state a very large percentage of our kids spend if not part of the week, all of the week in daycare or some kind of situation outside of the home. And so what we're doing with Success by Six is recognizing that and saying, you know, wherever our kids are, let's make sure that that is the best quality place that, that we can absolutely provide for them. 99.9% .9 of the parents that I ever come across, I could even say 100%, want to be a good parent. A lot of them do not have the skills to be a good parent. And one of the things that I like so much about Success by Six is it's a resource center to provide parents with um, just knowledge about um, brain development and activities that you can provide at home for those kids to stimulate them. To the unfamiliar, Success by Six may sound like not much more than a collection of high-minded ideas, but it is a living, breathing operation carried out locally by many enthusiastic citizens. For example, the Ada Area Success by Six Advisory Board consists of 35 people representing education, business, government, child care, social agencies, nonprofits, faith-based organizations, and families. It meets at least once each month to guide the initiative's progress. As a result, news about the importance of early childhood development is spreading through all facets of community life. And thanks to Success by Six, there is now a uniform message being sent to all those concerned about the welfare of young children. Even if there was no program that was funded, you as a citizen, me as a citizen, if I know how to make those early learning years count, I'm going to talk to children, I'm going to read to children, I'm going to encourage children to do those their very best. And all those things come from just knowing how to make the early learning years count. We are looking to the future of those citizens that don't have a voice. If every adult has that opportunity to know how to make those early learning years count, then making those decisions for things like Smart Start, what does it mean for the future of these citizens? Because there's no voice and they're the most vulnerable citizens and if we don't know, they're certainly not gonna speak up for themselves.